All right, listeners. If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. I'm not kidding. I looked around on many websites trying to figure it all out, and I was so intimidated. Then I found this site, and it just it just came easy. It has everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcast, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Who doesn't like free? All right, so here's what you have to do. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back to the Days Go By podcast. Yes, we are recording. Did you see your mom's eyes right there? Yeah. Like, oh my She's gosh. like, oh. oh my gosh, I can't believe we're recording. You push record. Hey. Yes. yes. Hello. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Hello. I'm your host, Chad. Tonight, joined by two lovely ladies. First, I got Sophie. Hello. How you doing, What's kiddo? What's wrong with your voice, kiddo? <laughs> I just changed my voice to say hi. And then I've got Mrs. Day. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? She's doing, doing okay. awesome. They're both doing awesome. Awesome. We yeah. took a little time off of watching some football. Sophie, how's your day gone so far? Good. Good? What'd you do? Tell us. I played with my friends at their house today. But what was the movie you made? Tell us about this movie. Mm, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Okay. Well, then we'll move forward tonight. It was like a cops and robbers type of video, right? Not really. Oh, okay. Never mind. Tonight, we are going to talk about two of the most popular franchises. And one of our favorite, both of our favorite movies. Uh-huh. That's right. We're talking about... Harry Potter and Star Wars. Yep. Harry Potter versus Star Wars. So we'll see how this goes. Sweet. All right. We are going to keep track. Sophie, you're going to keep track of how this goes. And at the end, we'll see who wins the competition. That's right. Better music. All right. So we got the main theme song, The Imperial March from Star Wars. And then we have the prologue for Harry Potter. That's a really yeah, great yeah. Kiddo. I'm <laughs> Thank impressed. You. Thanks, Sophie. <laughs> well, since you got to do that. Which song are you going to choose the better music, Star Wars or Harry Potter? I don't know. That's hard. I like them both. They're both really good. I got to say Harry Potter because I've listened to it long. Don't mark it down yet. What? She's marking her own. I thought I'd put a mark on it for each person. Nope. Nope. Just mark it down once we have a winner. So, just wait. So it'll be a majority. There are three of us here. So if there is a two out of three, then that one would win. Okay. To be fair, we are definitely more Harry Potter fans. Harry Potter, Sophie, just put it down for Harry Potter. But. Wait. But I think that that could change. We'll see how the questions are. Okay, daddy. Obviously, mom says the prologue. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I will say when I was pregnant with you, Sophie, I hadn't felt you move around for a a day or two and I was getting kind of nervous and your dad decided to play that particular song. Mm -hmm. And shortly after he played that close to my belly, 
I don't know if it's coincidence or what, but you started moving and I felt you. So that's pretty sentimental to me. Yeah, the meaning behind it, definitely. I'm going to have to go with Harry Potter, too. I'm going to have to go with the prologue to Harry Potter. One so, point to Harry Potter. One point Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Mom's going to start with this one. Would you rather go to school to be a Jedi Knight or a Hogwarts student? Oh, that's easy for me. I'd rather be a Hogwarts student. I don't want to go to war. I don't want to go to fight. I'd rather be a student. I, I mean, I know wait, in some ways you, just said you, you don't do want to fight. go to war. Yeah, I know in some ways. <laughs> okay, definitely you go it's to war. Different. It is, a lot of them die. It's different, and yes, a lot of them die. But I feel like my chances are a little bit better being a student rather than a Jedi. Okay. What do you think? I say Jedi Knight. I think that Boy. would be awesome. You get to start from a young age. And you get to learn a lot of different skills, which you do at Hogwarts, too. Um, But just to me, the thought of being a Jedi Knight and a warrior and having the um, lightsaber. Yeah. The powers. And to go against the dark side. Yep. I'm choosing I would go to school to be a Jedi Knight. So you are going to be the tiebreaker. I have to say Jedi Knight because what? I have to say Jedi Knight because if I had the powers, then I could just use my hands and pull something to me if I wanted it. Yeah. Okay. So one point for Star Wars. That's really surprising. One Star Sophie. Wars. One Harry Potter. I really thought about that question. Okay. Here's me. Would you rather fly on a broom or in the Millennium Falcon? So. We had this talk a little bit. Flying on a broom would be cool, but you are limited, and it can only go so fast. The Millennium Falcon can get you there really quickly. So for me, I would rather fly in the Millennium Falcon. I have to say a broomstick because... Really? Mm. Yeah, because if we were going to short distances... And we wanted, and we didn't have a car or anything. I'd want to use the broomstick because if we had a big ship, there's no point in bringing it like, because that would take it would just take up space. I think you're right in the short term. It take up space I was space thinking more too. long. Hmm. I was thinking more long trips. You didn't think about the short though. I didn't. So one to one, who's our tiebreaker? I guess mio. I guess I'm just thinking about more of like day to day life, you know, like going from point A to point B. The broomstick would be more convenient. I mean, the spaceship would be more convenient for long trips. So we which have, one? We have so... our truck for every short trip. <laughs> yeah, but if we didn't have our truck, this like let's say we didn't have our truck. That's not part of this. I'm just trying to say this to your mom. I know. So do we have like unlimited money? Money's not a factor in any of this right here. So I guess I'd probably rather have the spaceship because more than likely I'd have a vehicle to get me around. It wouldn't be as quick, though. You could get to work in five minutes. I'm guessing I wouldn't have to work if I had a spaceship. Or we also need to think maybe. about weather. I don't know. What if the weather's really yeah, cold? Do you want to be around really on a broom? Bad. Oh, that'd I don't be terrible. Care. <laughs> oh, come on. I guarantee this week when we have some really bad weather and you just step outside, you're going to wish that you didn't have to be out in it. Okay. Millennium Falcon. So I'm going to go with the spaceship. Wins. It's not a spaceship. It's a <laughs> Millennium Falcon. Is it not a spaceship? No. Well, yeah, it is. It's the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sophie. Put a point down. She did. She did. This is on you, kiddo. Who would win in a fight? Ray or Hermione? That's kind of hard because Ray has the skills, but Hermione has the smarts and the brains. But I think Ray would win because with her Jedi power, she could just, if Hermione tried to use her wand, then. Ray could just, like, use her her powers and pull the wand to her. And then she'd have two weapons, her lightsaber and the wand. Mm -hmm. And then Hermione would be done for. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I haven't watched enough of Star Wars. I can't remember where we left off exactly. It was on eight, I think. I was going to say seven or eight. But I'm going to go with what Sophie's saying. 
Ray. I mean, I would love to choose Hermione, but I think probably Ray. So it really doesn't matter what I have to say anyway, because that one has won. <laughs> no, but we care about what you do have to say. I think if Hermione had enough time to prepare and yeah, think but about she it. she didn't have time. I think if she had enough time to prepare about it, she could find a way to win. If she didn't, they were just seeing each other and they were having a fight. Then, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Ray too. Clean sweep. Yeah, because Ray. Ray also has like the mind power. She could be like, listen to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got another fight here. This is a big one. Mom's going to do this first. Oh, no. Big, big fight. Lord Voldemort versus Darth Vader. Oh, boy. I'm going to say probably Darth Vader would win. Why? Um, he just seems more powerful. Mm-hmm. Just more cutthroat. And he's a Jedi, too. He's, he's a Jedi. He's been he has, like, all of the powers. I mean, I think that Lord Voldemort is pretty powerful, but I just feel like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> good, good explanation. <laughs> I don't know. I just get that feeling that he's more... Um, that Darth Vader's more powerful. What about you? He's dark. He feels darker to me. Just maybe it's his look. I don't know. Because you can't really... Once he turns to Darth, like, you can't see his eyes. You can't see his face and everything... Like, he's just so dark and powerful to me that overtakes Lord Voldemort. I think that Darth Vader has a little bit better powers, but I think that Voldemort could go from one area to another, get him off, get him off ground a little bit. He could go from one spot behind him and then do a spell and then go to another spot where I don't think Darth Vader could Yeah, Darth could Vader do could do that too, though. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he could do that too. Yeah, I agree, Sophie. Hmm. I'm going Voldemort. So you get to make up the final decision here. What do you think, Sophie? Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Star Wars is dominating right now. Yeah, it's four to one. Okay. Mrs. Day. I just chose. Oh, okay. It's your turn. It's to me. So, who would you rather have as a, I shouldn't say pet, but that's just how I'm going to say this, as your pet, Hedwig or BB-8? You know, that, that's hard. Daddy gets an answer first. So, for me, Hedwig would be awesome, great companion, but BB-8 could be there and could bring you drinks and could bring you food and can bring you drinks whatever and food. you How need. How about the smarts? Well, of course the smarts too. But I think the intelligence—it's a maid. Definitely a maid, which <laughs> yeah. is what which is what Sophie Day always wants—a maid. It's the maid. <laughs> For me, I love Hedwig. I'm sorry, Hedwig. BB-8 is my choice. BB-8. Yeah, I think BB-8 for sure. I mean, Hedwig is super great and cute and all and can deliver mail and all those kind of things, but. Mm-mm. Yeah. Are you girls surprised how this is going so yeah, far I'm considering that surprised. we I are never... Harry Potter fans <laughs> way yeah, more? Yeah, I'm very surprised. I never really thought of it this way, honestly. Me neither. I know. It's weird. It goes to me. It goes to you. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Sophie, who would you rather have as a friend? Harry Potter or Luke Skywalker? You know, that's kind of hard. <laughs> Harry Potter. Any reason why? No, I just want Harry Potter. All right. <laughs> I say Harry Potter because I feel like, at least from what I have seen so far, I mean, I've only... Well, Luke Skywalker, he's the one that turned into... Hmm. He's dead already. Dang it. See, I'm so new to Star Wars. Remind me who Luke Skywalker is again. He it, he used to be a little boy who lived with his aunt and uncle, right? Oh, he's Leia's brother. Yeah. Okay, I still go with Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, I, just, I just feel closer to him and just from... 
it, it's just different. I, I guess maybe for me, like Harry Potter was just closer to me, more sentimental, watching it from the very beginning. Um, and just seeing him from a little boy grow up all the way until he was older in the movies. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's more reasons, but it's just more sentimental. This is a clean sweep. Luke seems like a bit of a butthead at times, especially <laughs> later in life. So yeah, Harry Potter seems like the sweeter, more passionate, could be your best friend. Whereas Luke seems like he could just be your friend and then disappear and have to go <laughs> off into some training and he's gone for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Potter for me too. That was an easy one. Did you mark us down there? Yes, I did. Okay. So was it like four or five yeah, to two? We'll, we'll keep track. It's Dan. two to five. Never mind. Keep track now. All right. Uh, who would you rather have as a teacher, Mrs. Day? So we have Professor Snape. Why are you saying no? He turned out to be a really, really good guy. Mm. Professor Snape is your teacher or Obi-Wan Kenobi? Oh, that's tough. I really love Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, Um, earlier you said you would rather go to Hogwarts to be a student. I know. So think of what these two teach. It's really, really hard. I like the character of Obi-Wan better than Snape. Um... From the angle that I have seen it, I guess. And then, yeah, well, they make him out to be a nicer, yes. nicer guy. But sure. once you... Gosh, that's hard. In the end, after knowing the story and everything of Snape, then... Gosh, I have to choose. I hate this. Snape or Obi-Wan. May the force be with you. <laughs> bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I am going with Snape. Ooh. I'm going with Obi-Wan. I'm going with Obi-Wan, too. Oh, there's your winner. The me- the reason for me, Obi-Wan, I always want someone that's a little bit nicer. And yes, in the end, we all realized that Snape was actually a good person. But while he was teaching, he was kind of a butthead. Yeah, he was, like, really mean to people. He was really mean. I know that's what I'm struggling with. That's why I'm going with, like, the whole story and knowing, like, what the end part was. But... My initial first instinct thought was Obi-Wan, for sure. I like his character better. I like how he was from the beginning better. He was more caring. Um, yeah. But I marked another point. I stand with my answer. Snape. Okay. So, this is to me? Yep. Who do you think was the better couple? Ron and Hermione. Who none of us really think should have been together anyway. Nope. Or Anakin and Padme. Mm. So, for me, the love story that Anakin and Padme had, like, those two were deeply, deeply, madly in love. Mm -hmm. I loved their story. Ron and Hermione always seemed a little odd to me. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. I always was kind of hoping for. I know that Harry and Hermione. Else. Yeah, that would have been better. So for me, it's Anakin and Padme. Sophie. Anakin and Padme. Oh, well, that's yeah, already one. I agree. <laughs> a clean sweep. Man, <laughs> this is a Star Wars <laughs> blowout. All right, Sophie. Better fight scene. So you had Harry versus Voldemort, or Luke Skywalker. Versus Darth Vader. I'd say Luke Skywalker against Darth Vader because that's more like they had more story to it and like more details, and they were like they had a big fight. And, and it ultimately, was fun. it was more fun to watch. I'd say right because Harry and Voldemort they're just like pointing wands at each other and trying to win. Mm-hmm. So I say Star Wars. I get what you're saying. I tend to think more in the matter of how long Harry Potter went on for and the mind game that went on with Harry Potter and Voldemort for so long and how Harry had to go through all of those mind trials and mind games of having to become stronger mind to fight him, to keep him out of being inside of him because the Horcrux was inside of Harry. And I feel like that in itself would be a huge battle to not know initially that that was inside of you and then realize 
oh, okay, this makes sense why this is so hard. And to overcome that and to defeat that, I I have to go with Harry Potter. You're the tiebreaker. So you, the same could be said for Star Wars, too, because that was a battle that had lasted for a long time in their, in their minds. Um, but I'm talking about just the fight scene. So if I'm thinking about the fight scene, and I was always kind of a little disappointed with the fight scene with Harry and Voldemort of, yes, they lock they lock spells, but then it's just like Voldemort just kind of disappears into ash, into the air. I was always a little disappointed by that. I wish it would have been a little bit more. More? Yeah. What? Yeah. No, there was plenty. He finally defeated him. So and that, he went that was poof. cool. It was cool. But Which for one? me, it's Luke versus Darth. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Okay, this might start to change it a little bit here. Who's up? We got mom? Me. You? you just okay. Me. Sophie, would you rather have a wand or a lightsaber? You know, that's really hard, but I'd rather have a wand because then I could be like, Accio food <laughs> or something or Accio phone for you guys. And it'd be a lot easier and I could just sit around because the lightsaber... You could really just fight people and st- and make holes in the walls. But if you had the lightsaber, technically, if someone shot a spell at you, you'd be able to block it. Still, it's right. not like someone was going to You wouldn't be able to cast a spell, though, with a lightsaber, right? No. Okay, I choose wand. I also choose wand. <laughs> yeah. I-, I was trying to talk, trying to be devil's advocate devil's a little advocate, bit. Devil's advocate, typical. But yes, definitely, I'd rather have the wand. Chad. Okay, we're starting to catch up a little bit. Mom, would you rather drink a butter beer or green milk? Oh, butter beer, 100%. <laughs> oh my gosh, butter beer. <laughs> but the green milk, when we had yeah, it. That was actually pretty that good. That smoothie that we had was really good. No, Super the, blue, the blue milk was gross, I think. The blue milk was gross. Still 100% milk. butter beer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say it was totally disgusting. I mean, it was definitely drinkable, but. Butterbeer, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, Clean sweep there. I think that one was pretty easy, but I figured I'd throw it in there anyway. That's a good one. Just to see, like, what we choose. Okay, let's have another battle. I'll go first. We have Professor Dumbledore versus Palpatine. Oh, Dumbledore. You say Dumbledore? No, I don't know. This one's close. This is hard. So Mom says, let's let you go last, and you might be our tiebreaker. Okay. So mom says Dumbledore. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't like Paul. He's, he's scary looking and just like really bad and no, evil. But who do you think would win in a battle? I want Dumbledore. No matter what. I pick Dumbledore. So Palp- Palpatine played some really cool tricks and was very deceiving. Very powerful. No, but Dumbledore has his like secrets and powers and he can surprise you i think the only person that could beat dumbledore is himself so i would have to choose dumbledore here i had to choose dumbledore too all oh, right holy, geez, <laughs> seriously you're playing devil's advocate again <laughs> that shouldn't surprise me we have two left not yet okay who would win in an eating contest <laughs> so <Sophie, Wrong. laughs> i'm gonna let you go first we have chewbacca versus hagrid oh versus hagrid you should have said versus ron ron's eating all the time you I think ron could s- eat more than a giant yeah i have to say hagrid he is ginormous <laughs> yeah let's pretend they had one minute to eat as much as they could eat hagrid hagrid yeah I think Hagrid, too. Definitely Hagrid. Hagrid and then Ron. Okay. We're down to the last one. Mrs. Day, this is you. Who would be a better godfather? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Sirius Black. Or Sirius Black. (laughs) Sorry. You knew before he even said it. I knew a godfather. You love Obi-Wan, though. I know, but Sirius Black is so nice, and he actually... 
like wanted Harry to be with them a lot. That's really know. hard though because like as I say, but what did he ever teach him? What did Sirius Black ever teach Harry? Does a godfather have to teach? They don't. Like their godson something. I don't want to. They don't. I don't want to be taught all the time. What would you expect from a godfather? Just to take care of me? No, they don't really. They like wouldn't really take you? care of yeah, you. Look after I mean, me. they'd look after you in the worst case scenario that me and your mom passed away. So, in that sense, who would you rather be your? I have father? to say, Sirius Black still. All right, that's really hard. I really like Obi Wan. I think he'd be a really good godfather <laughs> in the sense that he. I felt like he took on the role of teaching and taking care because he did take that role in Star Wars with taking over who was it that he took over? We haven't watched the movie. I haven't watched the movie in a while. But he did take that parent role. For well yeah, for I mean for Anakin, he was taking care of Anakin from a very young age and watching over him. Well in the beginning and then he had to find a home for the twins. What? I'm blinking. Right? The twins. What twins? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the twins? Enlighten me. <laughs> Leia and Luke? <laughs> well, he he kind of was watching one more than the other. Right, but, but it yeah. was his response. He took the responsibility of finding a place, a safe place for both of them as well. I don't mm-hmm. know. Just because of all of that, I I kind of lean towards Obi Wan a little bit more. So I'm the tiebreaker. I know it just. I do agree with your mom in the sense that I think that Obi Wan was better from a younger age, and he was definitely more caring, far more worthy of being a godfather. Mm-hmm. However, I tend to like the bad boy kind of person. And I think that Sirius Black also had Harry's best interest in mind. No, I but think he wasn't, so too. But he wasn't, un- unfortunately, he wasn't able to be there for Harry because he ha- he was in Azkaban. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't really much of a choice. And even after he got out of, out of Azkaban and Harry freed him, he still really never had the opportunity to show what kind of, of a person, of a godfather that he could be. So I guess to me, it's more the thought and the instead hope. of and the thought and the hope. Yes. I think Obi-Wan obviously did a better job. Yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, I'm going to say Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi for me, Dang. Sophie. You made it seem like you were going to pick Sirius Black. I like Sirius Black better. <laughs> So, I, like, Sirius Black really cared for Harry. He just didn't know what to do. I agree. I agree. That's a tough one. That was hard. All of these can kind of be tough. Obviously, if you've heard any, any of our podcasts before, you would know that we are obsessed with Harry Potter. We love the story. We love the music. We love the characters, which is why it was so odd to do these questions. And when you present them in a different way, which is why I think that you could... You could talk about any subject and make it seem a little bit different than you thought the outcome would be. Because, Sophie, how many points? Okay. Who's our winner? Wait, I'm not going to say the winner yet. I'm going to say the scores for both of them. And then um, you guys, you have to try to guess which one. Ready? So, um, one has six points and one has nine points. Who do you think did better? I think Star Wars won with nine points. Yep. I think so, too, which is really weird. Kind of so surprising. The winner is... Ba, 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 Star Wars! That's actually really surprising because we like Harry Potter better. But I guess we like the things in Star Wars better. It's just very interesting. Uh, I never thought about comparing the two. And we started talking about this the other day. And it was just kind of, it just brought this conversation. It was like, huh. It was just very interesting. It was very intriguing. And it brought a lot of conversation and thought. 
And yeah, absolutely. For as much as we love Harry Potter, and I haven't even watched all of the Star Wars movies, but from what I have seen, it's a very interesting, uh, entertaining, deep story as well. I think I'm just, because I watched and knew of Harry Potter longer, I'm probably more drawn to Harry Potter more, but it's just been a favorite for a long time. But it's just, it's kind of fun and interesting to compare the two. Yeah, we definitely have a bigger connection to Harry Potter, but Star Wars has been around for so much longer. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a lot more spinoffs from Star Wars, too. If you have Disney, I mean, you have The Mandalorian, you have Obi-Wan, you have Andor. Uh, the Obi-Wan was you really have, cool. The Obi-Wan yeah. show is so cool. Yeah, there's so many different shows from it that there's a lot more of a story. These are two of probably the biggest franchises ever, and there's a lot of similarities, and there's some people that say Harry Potter is kind of a knockoff in a lot of areas from Star Wars, which is maybe why we like them both. The fact that they have the same musician. John Williams. I think it's very cool. The music in both of them are phenomenal. I agree, but the music, I mean, from beginning to end... It's definitely think, Harry Potter for me. I think it's just the music for me for Harry Potter because I've like listened to it longer, and like just I fell as- I I'll, I could fall asleep to it. We Star Wars actually music, made a I don't, sleep. Yeah, playlist, Star Wars. Yeah. I don't know if I could fall asleep to the music. Yeah, that'd be hard. I mean, I'm sure there's part of the we haven't listened to the full album, so that'd be a little bit hard. But I'm sure there's some songs that are a little bit slower, too. We're just more used to the complete bum, cat- bum, category. Bum, 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 <laughs> yeah. That ain't making anybody go to sleep. <laughs> no, and I think, I think though, too, your dad made a sleep playlist for us specifically mm-hmm. from Harry Potter. From all of the movies, from all of the playlists, from all the albums, he specific, specifically made a playlist For us, for sleeping. Yeah, because they change a lot. They do change a lot. So I'm sure he could do the same for Star Wars. We just haven't tackled that yet. So that might be an interesting challenge to do. Um, Yeah. But your dad specifically, because like I said, since before you were born, we watched the movies, listened to the music. He made a sleep calming playlist for me specifically to listen to in the hospital while giving birth to you. Uh, to help me relax and calm down. So, again, it's just more sentimental. It just really sticks to me. So, Yeah, that is our Star Wars versus, versus Harry, Harry Potter, Potter episode. And Star Wars turns to be the winner, shockingly enough. It breaks my heart and almost <laughs> makes me cry. Tear. Ha ha. Thank you again for listening. We appreciate it. Reach out all the ways that we've told you in the past. Check out our other podcast if you're definitely into Universal Studios. So you can find us there at Daydreaming of Universal Studios Hollywood. Bye, boy. Thank you again for listening. So if you got anything else you want to say before we're all done here? Bye, boy. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, bye. You sound like a gargoyle Wait, or something. What's something since Star Wars 1, what's something a Star Wars character would say? May the force be with you. Yep. May the force be with you, everybody. May the force be with you. (laughs) Thank you. Bye. Bye.